everyone. This month I've been covering information on emotions and for this third week I just thought it would be important to talk about self-care. Preach into the choir here. So self-care is definitely vital for your wellness. You can't pour from an empty cup. So I've just kind of curated a list for tips and ideas for busy moms because I know that as a mom self-care is usually like the bottom of the list like the very last thing there's like nothing below self-care that's usually the last step and it usually doesn't happen because everything else takes too much time um, or you just run out of energy and you just pass out on the couch at the end of the day so these are just little tiny quick ones that you could slip in kind of sprinkle throughout your day um, one tip I did get from my aunt was not to expect to have self-care every single day. Um, you're kind of setting yourself up, depending on the ages of your kids. My kids are so pretty little. Um, you're kind of setting yourself up for failure when you have that expectation. So if you focus on maybe three, four days a week getting some self-care in, then that's more of a realistic um, expectation or realistic goal for you to have. Um, but I think some of these are super easy to integrate into your day um, and they just take some of them only take a few minutes or they can be part of what you're already doing. So I feel like every, once a day is doable, but just don't feel like you have to devote like 30 minutes to an hour every day to get your self care in. It's more of like a, a mental thing too. So the first one, probably my favorite one is taking a nice long relaxing bath with a book and your favorite beverage and of course I sprinkle in the Epsom salt and the baking soda and the essential oils because I've got to get lots of bangs for my buck right I've got to have the relaxation I've got to have the essential oil therapeutic benefits I got to be reading and I've got to be hydrating so lots of ways to um, relax there then another one that would be fun, maybe not as doable or as easy to squeeze in depending on your situation, is to meet up with a friend for like a coffee or a tea. Um, maybe you do it after the kids go to bed. Maybe you have someone come and watch your kids. Um, maybe you just have a friend over and have a play date and the moms chat and the kids wreck one of their houses. That That is totally up to you. Um, I find that I can't really have deep conversations with other moms unless the kids are asleep or being watched by someone else because there's always something that comes up right that somebody needs something and you got to stop what you're saying and then your mom brain is kicking in and it's just a mess so it's very nice it's, it's very much a treat to go to someone's house or to meet at a coffee shop after the kids go to bed so you can like totally focus and not try and talk and manage kids at the same time Another way is more of a mental thing is just to acknowledge and release your stress. Um, I would say like I can feel the crazy, crazy train rolling in. I got to stop it. So maybe you just go into your room and close the door for like a couple minutes. You take some deep breaths. Maybe you say a quick prayer. You recompose yourself. Um, take like a mommy time out and then um, do some deep breathings deep breaths and then you can go back out and deal with whatever it is that is happening in the rest of your house. Another way to slip in um, that's really fun with kids is to color. Most most kids love to color and if you sit down and color with them it is actually very calming and um, therapeutic sometimes to just color and to make something beautiful at the end. Um, another fun thing to do that's can be self-care and productive at the same time is to garden. Um, it's really nice to get our hands dirty in the earth. There's lots of benefits with that too. And then if you're working on a garden, then you have all the um, benefits of your produce that you get to harvest later. Sometimes moms need to take a field trip. Maybe you wanna go and stroll up and down the aisles of Target. Maybe you want to um, go to a winery. Maybe you need to go overnight somewhere. Anything that you can do for yourself that's just for you to kind of refill your cup is golden whenever you can squeeze it in. And I know everyone's situation is different and I know um, overnight stays are not always possible, but if you can do it every once in a while, it's definitely a blessing and you come back um, very refreshed and ready to pour out into your family. Another fun one is to just sing, and maybe that only happens in the shower because you're self-conscious about your voice. The Bible says to make a joyful noise unto the Lord, so everyone has a beautiful voice to God. If you are not confident in your voice, you can always sing in the shower, but something about singing just um, brings joy to us and helps to sometimes release stress. 
You could also declutter an area of your house um, that will give you some sense of accomplishment and it will help you to maybe even be able to concentrate better. I love to watch the sun set. I am not a morning person, but if I was, I'm sure I would love to watch the sun rise. So though it's very calming, maybe you start your day with a cup of coffee watching the sun rise. That sounds magical. I don't do morning, so I'm just struggling to get out of bed. Um, watching the sunset is very peaceful and calming though. So you could even do a gratitude journal and just take a few moments each day or every couple of days and write down things that you're thankful for. That's a great way to um, combat stress and anxiety as well. Just kind of reshifting your focus and reminding yourself of all the things that you have to be grateful for. Taking a walk or going for a run are great self-care tips and they are beneficial for your health as well. Sometimes just calling a friend um, with our technology, a lot of times we just text and hearing someone's voice or even doing like a video call like a Marco Polo, um, or there's even this new app that I just discovered, I think it's called Vox, where it's like a walkie talkie, where you, it's just like voice messages that you send back to each other. Sometimes just hearing a voice instead of reading a text is like so much better, right? You wanna hear the inflections in their voice and hear their twang or their accent or their uh, way with words that they wouldn't necessarily, you wouldn't necessarily get with a text message or an email. So do people even email anymore? I don't know. Anyway, a call from a friend, however that looks for you, whether it's just a phone call or a video call, something, um, if you can't actually get out of the house, a phone call is the next best thing. Reading a book is my, my probably one of my top five favorite self-care things. Um, I love to read you could do yoga, do stretches, do a devotional. All of these are things that are filling you up so that you can pour out onto others. Sometimes ordering dinner out is a great uh, lifesaver, time saver for a busy mom. Obviously, it's not doable for every budget, and it's not something that I recommend doing all the time, but it is a nice treat to know that you don't have to make dinner, that you're just ordering out or ordering in, How, however you want to do that. Maybe you go out to eat, maybe you just... Um, go and pick it up or you have it delivered to you. You can also volunteer. That um, will fill you up and going back to the gratitude journal will remind you of all the things that you have to be thankful for because there are so many people who are way less fortunate than we are and we kind of gloss over things because we just don't think about them. We are busy. So if you make time to volunteer, I promise it will fill you up and bless you as well. Getting outside is always a great self-care tip, and if you can, go barefoot so you can get some grounding in and get those uh, great negative ions from the earth. You could journal, whatever that looks like for you. Um, when we were younger, we did diaries. When you're an adult, it's called a journal. You just write down your thoughts. Um, there's five-year journals. You could just get like a little journal from like the Dollar Tree or Walmart, and it's just a way to express yourself in writing. Um, it's always nice to Get things down on paper sometimes. Meal prepping could be a form of self-care because you're setting yourself up for um, the meals in the future and you don't have to worry about, oh my gosh, what am I going to have for dinner tonight because you've already prepared. So it's kind of like front-loading your work and then it's already done. Um, some people like to do that in advance. I like to do a month at a time. That might stress people out. Maybe they do a week at a time. Maybe they sit down with their spouse and they meal plan together. However that looks for you, just knowing that it's already done and you have all those ideas already on paper or on your calendar, it's just very um, freeing mentally to know that you don't have to think about, oh, what's, what am I doing for dinner tonight? Just make sure that you have the groceries and then you're good. Another one for self-care for probably most women is to go shopping. And if you want to really up the ante, go shopping with a friend. Um, even if you just go to the grocery store or the thrift store, it's just something about shopping with other women that makes it more fun. Um, and then my last one is polishing your nails. I like to polish my nails every once in a while. It's not something that I keep up with, but it is fun to do. So just think of ways that you can fill yourself up so that you can be a blessing to others and you're not so um, on the bottom of your to-do list. Raise some of these up on your to-do list or look for areas in your day that you can sprinkle them in. If you have a tip that I missed or you love to do something for self-care, drop that in the comments too. I'd love to see more ideas of self-care. I'm always looking for self-care ideas because again, struggle bus. 
I hope you got some um, tips and ideas from my list.